All right, I will see my movie be a quaba and found bra a year platform. So Samuel Okuja to Ablaqua, a member of parliament, a demand of tongue, and rashe a constituency in the voter region. Now, away ye in a bekaya a social security and national insurance trust, a trinity a case senate. Sa a ye a jumaku ya nasa sa a bain agency we omu a ya a jinse na omu pesa omu ton edima private individual any ada a ye hotels binuma eki kaki ka home la birdy beach hotel la palm any di eki kaki ka home nani pa kwa na opeso oto sa a Japadi a Brian a champon. Ye in a enemy, Sir Brian a champon, a agric minister, minister of food and agriculture. Now, where we the hotel and a rock city, rock city hotel, more and on who decided say or more air to say you make we a bad idea. Nanka Ghana for you, name of you, but where are your friend Samuel Okuja to a black one. Ena odisa anshu she munu ebaya. Na diye wuma na e yani se. Ofa, otosa we ye agency na naso tosa e japadie na. Ni 60% shows e wum. A e no no. When we are talking about business. Ana se. Se ye ka profit and loss ha. Ana se ye ka enterprise ha. Se ubiya ni shows e wum dudu ono. Ono automatically ono ene jumano eye ni dia. Inti having 60% in the shells of Natchese. Anono wabe the holder. Anase wabe the manager. For the ejumoku ono. Gwe na gana for tina si hun se debi. Saadiye uye kwa so embwa. Because eye o manager pa die. Inti ni kwa nse. Pa kufo eti mi eje ni sato so sa mani yi yi. Protest eko so demonstration. Eni eni yama bibi eko so. Na finally. Hmm. Empe infobu bibi ze upusu ni numa na watine kankai. Omo kwa so wa. They did not give up. What is it? They did not give up. Eni yi ena. Lete bi. Endra yeti se lete bi ababonti. Yem kwa kinkain biya. Eye. Rock City. A ye ura. Brian e champon. Ena ninsa. E shasi ye. Ena se ono. And our mom will lead the letter. And some of more can I say the decision to buy that government property? No, a banja padieni na na emeni di ano si si omo akasa omo rudi omo to build because omo tuwa daddy. Some some way okuja to ablakwa and o pulli out documents to buttress his argument in court. Ne adi adi. Yebe yebe pesi yebe ko ni yeko kuti okuja to ablakwa na akasa eni. Um, our allergy and allergy show our pan Africa TV. We are not in Zambia today, and we are going to details. We may have dinner a woman casa. We may have dream any catastrophe. Prayer ne can can be ana enka enko fu omu fu kuntu nasi. Hmm, omu fu kuntu nasi na omu edebi via omu ine japadi ene nyango pong MP aduboni. Weti mi e yon mo so krata ama e ni omo di sa e di se omo en to bi yo. Yebe ko nye kwa kuti en seb no nansan ebe ko ni yebe sra o. Bo mo di nana fwa komenti tom like yi. Juma di yenu share na fufo. Inye bi mwa bra konvizisi no e koso. Yem fan ti yanko mo o bibi ya o heye platform yanko po nisha o. Kwe kwa ni yonko ti Samuel Oku Jeto Abla kwa. A o ye de nofton emrashi bibye ni uwewe obon homo jimpa when it comes to parliament you know research and investigation obon homo jim onye CID but e juma obon wukuruma hana it is even more than CID omu juma di omu yeni wukuruma ye mko tiye enserno quick one na ye mhu tiye etu ye mwankasa omu press statement omu leto omu wilizi ye omu debabo nti omu chechidi mu the reasons why behind, and I said the reasons behind it, I ne omo decide se omo aridro di ano mo going to buy that government property again. 
abusia yin ku ti nsia nan famra e ko bai beto aso he says because i'm homeless hmm? can you believe that the arrogance of power we are now homeless we need their empty houses to occupy and you see when you when you go into the irony hmm? state assets hotels we they tell us that they are not profitable they are not worth it they they they, they are useless so they are in a hurry to sell them see how far they went to have them to keep them for themselves it should tell you that the claims that these hotels are not profitable is all hogwash so see what happened yesterday the man who spent two months threatening everybody and promising the moon when they saw the lockdown coming on monday doctors have presented a timetable from monday opd services withdrawn then they moved to emergency services and they saw that even the dead, when you die on Monday, nobody will be around to take care of you, the merchants. There will be total shutdown in this country. The economy will not function. The country will be on its knees. See the speed with which Rock City put out a statement that they are withdrawing their interest. And suddenly, all the information we were looking for, I filed an RTI request. I'm still waiting for SNET. Joy FM also filed an ITI request. They denied them, told them they don't have a, an information officer. They had to go to the Right to Information Commission for the commission to compel SNET. And even that, SNET hasn't released the documents. Now, Rock City said, oh, you can release our documents. Okay, you release it. Can you believe that? The power of the masses. Then Elizabeth Ohimi who has been writing all over the place, prolific writer. She said that even if we bring angels, I remember one of the paragraphs, Okuja Tua Blackwa says he's working for God and country. If he puts together all the professionals and even the angels from heaven, they will conclude that this deal is quickly clean. So we are going ahead. In her June 26 episode, only for 10 p.m. last night. I didn't know that snakes can work at 10 p.m. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't know that President Mahama's 24-hour economy can start working before the December 7 elections. They didn't sleep last night. Elizabeth O'Hinney now issues a statement that they have terminated the deal. They are no longer selling. You see how the people can be powerful. I want this template to be the template that we should use at all times. Because some politicians are taking the Ghanaian people for a ride. And Ghanaians have suffered too much. Just too much. What have Ghanaians done? The only crime was who have voted for you. To have believed that you were sincere and that you will come and improve their fortunes. They didn't know you are coming to loot everything inside. Look, this morning, I was asking an earlier panel I was on, that when was the last time you heard of the current generation of politicians acquiring land banks for future development? When was the last time? So as for us, everything in Kuma built for us, set aside for us, Some politicians have come to just loot them, have them for themselves. When Nkuma was establishing the ministries, he knew that civil servants have to live close to the ministries so that your life will be comfortable. You can get to work easy if there are emergencies. So bungalows were built in the Kanda cantonments, Laboni area, so you can be close. They are demolishing all these bungalows, moving civil servants, public servants, as far as Kaswa, Domika, Kwabinya, Masaman, and other places. You are on your own. 
Rich Hospital, Kondebu Hospital, all the land banks are all gone. When there is an emergency, a doctor is now struggling through traffic. We'll get to you in two hours' time, three hours' time, when you are dead and gone. Forest covers are not safe. Look at the last time somebody passed, you saw the wheel. Forests, forests are being wheeled to nephews. Last week, you saw my summary of the local government minister to parliament. Parks and gardens lands, gone. Some character shows up. He says he's called Reverend Ezekiel. He owns Danny Ike Real Estate Development. And they always have some funny names. He says he's the new owner of the parks and gardens at Cantonments. Can you believe that? So he tells the staff that you people, your days are numbered, prepare and leave. I'm the new owner. He puts two containers on site. You go to what? Parks and gardens land. They've taken it over. They are building filling stations. Then the judges, as for the judges, their case is so pathetic. As we speak, 13 bungalows for judges opposite the American embassy. Gone. When the judges saw that these marauding invaders had come and are taking over their bungalows, they rushed to their colleagues, their judges, for an injunction. On the 28th of November, 2023, I have all the court documents here. Judges themselves narrating their ordeal before their colleagues in court. The private developers who are clearly fronting for powerful people in this country said, how dare you go to court? Injunction, so what? So even though they were served the injunction, they proceeded to demolish three more bungalows. Number 7, 5th Circular Road, number 18, 5th Circular Road, number 36, 5th Circular Road. After the injunction, can you believe that? These so-called private developers, they clearly must be fronting for people high up there. The judges, they don't even fear Supreme Court judges. Now the judges are in court. 13 of our bungalows have been. So, so when you went to court in 2008, where were you? Good question. Good question. When you were normally going to court, where you? Good question. Good question. And you see, you see some Justice, of our, Justice of Akufu, when she delivered a dissenting judgment, she said that they had missed an opportunity. You know, it was a 6 3 decision. She said that they had missed an opportunity to sanitize the system. Now see what is happening. Nobody is safe. Are you aware that the prison's land is gone? Baumier senior advisor called Professor Apiedu says it's for him. President Kufo gave it to him many years ago. Now he wants it. He secured a judgment. The prison service has had to appeal. I summoned the interior minister in parliament to find out what he's doing to support the prison service because yes, they're on their own. So, so pathetic. Ghana Prison Service, can you believe that? Boston Institute, Roman Rich, gone. The next one to go is a prison service land at Dankwa Center. The minister has confirmed about to go under a so-called PPP arrangement. Then diplomatic missions. Have you forgotten, Senna, that I had to expose the demolition of the Bulgarian embassy? As we speak, the Bulgarians only last week, the ambassador, Yonov Yukanov, uh, 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 reminded me of their compensation, which is outstanding. The sole commissioner's report exposes the masterminds, Akufado's appointee at NDPC, and a certain Jojo Hager, who government claims they can't find, is elusive. So, who is going to pay that compensation to the Bulgarians? And, and how long will we test the patience and the tolerance of the Bulgarians? What is going on in this country? Even the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations is not being respected. Then don't forget the Nigerian High Commissioner's residence was also demolished. So, it's like suddenly there are some invaders who have descended upon us. And they must steal everything in sight. What is happening? What is happening in this country? So the state capture we are talking about is real, Senna. It's real. And now it's touched everybody. The judges are the latest victims. They are crying in court. Can you believe that? Why? When, when was the last time you heard judicial service of Ghana playing chiefs 
versus the Lands Commission, French Oil Company Limited, and the Attorney General. They filed this 27 February 2024. This year, they are still in court. And they've attached pictures, pictures of the demolition and how the so-called private developers are building so fast. So, so fast. And you see, all these people are building so fast. This year, see where they got into. Building so, so fast. All of them are hoping that they will build to a point and it will be difficult for President Mahama to reclaim all of these stolen lands. See what is happening. This is the judges. So judges own documents filed in court. So where is this happening? Opposite the U.S. Embassy, American Embassy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, come to next. Prime land. And it's happening broad daylight. Where they should Yes, yes, where they live. Let me give you the list. The judges themselves have listed the last occupants of the building before the demolition. Justice F.G. Corbier. Justice Anthony Abada. Justice K.A. Oforiata. Not even the president's relatives are being spared. Mm -hmm. Robin Baki. Justice Yawa Pao. Mm -hmm. Justice Stephen Kinyoki. Justice Julius Ansa. Supreme Court judges. Mm -hmm. Justice Akamba. Justice P.K. Jaisayo. Dr. Naomi Apia of the Judicial Service Clinic. Justice C.J. Honyanuga. Justice Vida Akotoba Fu. Justice Lorinda Uwusu, 13 bungalows. Gone. And, 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 and you wonder, where is leadership? What is, doing? what is happening in this country? Who is doing this? Look, the Lands Minister, the Lands Commission, they should know that a day of reckoning is coming. A day of reckoning is coming. They will not get away with this. And that is why, Senna, I am so excited about the private members bill that I'm working on with a number of lawyers led by Professor Kweku Azar. And I can tell you this morning that we are in the final stages. We are calling it the Public Access Protection Bill. And you will love some of the provisions. We are saying that no politically exposed person, no politician, should be allowed to purchase state assets. Whether it's a car, a bungalow, a land, a forest, whatever. All politicians stay away, current or old. Indeed, if you're a former government official, you are barred minimum five years from going anywhere near a state transaction. Five minimum years. That is what is in the draft bill. My favorite part in this, in this draft bill, is that we are insisting that this law should create a database where every state asset should be published. Are you aware that in this country, if now you ask how many bungalows we have and where they are located, they say that, oh, they claim that there are record problems, record issues, record challenges. Can you believe that? But when it's time to sell, they know where to find them and go and sell them. Can you believe that? Good question. Good question. Just a few, a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah. A few days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Arazi Opuni for the better yeah, part of this. There's something wrong. You see what I'm talking about? Because yeah. I mean, there's something wrong in this country. It, it tells you how corrupt the leadership is. So we are saying that it's going to be mandatory for all state assets to be published. They have to be on the website. Every citizen of Ghana should know where our state assets are. Where are our, our, our forests? What is the, 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 the coverage? The scope? The state lands, where are they? The, all the ones we inherited from Nkoma, what is left? The scope, the measurements, state bungalows, how many are there? All must be published. And every public official, every state asset under your watch must be published. Because what we know, because, look, will you believe that a few days ago, we had all been walking around thinking that we still own the WEB Du Bois Center. 
only for me to intercept an agreement signed by the foreign minister, the attorney general. Dubai Center is gone for 50 years. 50 good years. Can you believe that? And who? Dubai Center. Do you know how many African governments want to have a Dubai Center? Such an icon. The first black doctorate graduate from Harvard who abandoned his U.S. citizenship, came to join in Goma in the trenches to rebuild our country after independence. Took on Ghanaian citizenship. Helped to reconstruct our country. Du Bois is such an icon. It's, it, the Du Bois Center is a mecca for all black scholars. I mean, everything. The arts. The humanities. Pan-Africanism, what Du Bois represents, even Du Bois Center. So there is no sacred group. Everything in sight. And if you read the terms in that agreement, they give the private developer two years to take possession before he raises the, the first $50 million. It's a $34 million. And if they land alone, that's, there's 8.2 acres, Du Bois Center. It's more valuable than that $34 million that they claim they will get. There's even no guarantee. I've gone through the, they registered the company in Delaware. I went through their filings with the IRS. The only amount they've managed to raise in their entire history, five-year history, is $315,000. There's no guarantee that they can even come up with that money. The Du Bois Center is gone. They appoint six board members, government appoints only three. They appoint the board chairman, they appoint the CEO. It's gone. Lopsided agreement. Just gone. And as Kujo will say, don't be surprised that in a few years you hear that they have just, you know, built apartments there and they are doing their own thing. Du Bois Center. Let me conclude on SNIT, the Transaction Advices Report. I have published the Transaction Advices Report. And when you read this report, you come to no other conclusion that all those who engage in this conspiracy must be dismissed immediately. The SNED board, the NPRA board, their CEOs, the board chairpersons, they must be dismissed immediately. Look, 24th May, the transaction advisor said, I'll read too quickly, very quickly, that the Rock City proposal offers an installment plan with no confirmation of ability, availability of funds. There is no indication of ability to pay. The arrangement for the transfer of the shares do not satisfy the objectives of SNET. The two-year installment plan was not made available to all bidders. So when we talk about a rigged system, how this was an insider deal, this is a confirmation. Transaction advisor, not me speaking. Remember, we paid four hundred ninety-one thousand dollars for this. Good money over seven million cities. The transaction advisor says that look, the latest proposal does not meet the objectives of SNET, which were closely stated in the terms of reference for this transaction. The proposal does not indicate the source of funding for the balance of the acquisition price. Rock City's latest proposal does not include a bank guarantee. The current proposal does not reflect a bank guarantee and a firm indication of the availability of funds. Rock City Hotel cannot settle this transaction in full. Per the analysis, the semi-annual payments required by Rock City will not be met. I mean, can you believe that? Very, very damning. In short, the current proposal does not meet the requirements to demonstrate the financial capacity to close this transaction. And yet, they were handing it over to them. He was going to do a work at a clearly. Labadi Beach Hotel so popular. So, I salute organized labor. Speaking to them this morning, they say we are not backing down, and I commend them for that. Because they want to see actual, not just this press statement that nobody even signed, just a name. They want to see the letters have gone, the process have actually started. And they want to shape the system more. It looks like President Kufwadu, hmm, who goes around ordering chiefs to get up and out. He thinks that he's become some demigod. This country belongs to him. They want to show him some small problem. Hmm? And all of us, the minority caucus, as you see the statement. We are all joining the Nanaki. And the clarion call now is that all of these people 
Because already they are holding press conference saying that, look, these hotels, we can't run it, we have to sell it. So you are failed. What it is, you resign. You can't, you can't come and publicly advertise your competence. And you want to be kept in those jobs. So this conflict of interest, this corruption, this inside of you, people must pay for it. They should all resign or be fired. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. also briefly. Mr. Um, that I am very... <laughs> I am a bit uh, disappointed in organizing the for acting three weeks. You understand? What has happened in the past few days tells me that indeed the failures of the Montreal Supreme Constitution were very right when they said the sovereignty of this country resides uh, in the people. And so if they had acted earlier, I'm not sure we would have had that big hole at uh, the name rates. It means we have been so adamant, we have been so weak as a country to have allowed President Kufuor to misbehave. What he has done is totally new. He has, he has actually shown. He's the reason why a lot of young people now don't see, you know, growing up, when you met an elderly person, there was an utmost respect. You know, what President Kufuor has done, he has taken that, that respect away. So better late than that. I was hoping that he would behave the Ethiopia syndrome. He did it till Monday. He would have gotten Kenya in this country. He's very fast. I'm telling him. If he doesn't know anything, his national security are not putting their thinking cap on. They must know that the, the anger that was directed at Napu was not because people really cared about what he said, but because of anger. So they wanted to show him something. So it's good that now they are running away from this nonsense of sin. And I'm happy with the private members uh, at the bill that they are working on. Politicians must stay away. If you want to do business, go into the business sector. I think that what he said, the thing was innovative. Oh, what is this business of? What is that what yeah. you're doing? But, but, but the man himself is part of this deal. Why is he saying it? Do you believe what you're doing? What are you doing? He's the one behind it. He is the master serpent of all the criminal that goes on. He does nothing, he doesn't know. So immediately went to support him. I just did it. Yeah, we go. Elizabeth Tony must comfortably leave that office. The NPR the entire board. Manager Macro, the Minister of Employment who communicated this whole thing to us, must immediately leave. You know, that organizer, if they don't leave this before they have the tendency of coming back in two months, go on with a strike! So that people will take it serious. We have been taking for granted for far too long. And let me comment on it, you have that one. Whatever way you look at it, but for coming out with it, Snakes, eh? Organized over, they were sitting on the board. They passed the bill initially, but then when they realized that there was some form of force coming from the general public, they took him like that is how we are supposed to behave. When we say behave like citizens and not spectators, this is how we are supposed to behave. When anything is going wrong, what kind of your political color? Now, what can we hold as a country as our asset? Everything is gone. It is going to have to refer to the matter for us here. Let us see that side of school that you have been making us. No, no, no. I have told around the head. Yes, this criminal mandate minister, I what? What is it? Uh, Lands and Nationalism. They have told around. So I don't know if people are taking over the land. I don't know where he came back from. He's going to come and lay claim to land. But it's not fair to the people of this country. So it's a good thing. Let them run away from the, the, uh, the hotel center. Roxy, but Roxy, I'm sure the letter is coming from there. Someone signed it, they showed me. No, you can confirm it. And see, you know, you can't be to say, you could do a tabla, a soap base, I think, say, about 20 people in this country, and command even 20 is enough. And command will be calling him. Because, oh, here, oh, here, when you do my dear, or no, so, Koyana, hmm, or no, so, Koyana. 
Nensinya omini case bi against the National Cathedral. Semokai National Cathedral Yera President Ekufado si omfa omaini sika even one peswa and now five peswa square omfa nishi. But eko wye chi na chi se omaini sika ye batu honu omaini futu omu ena Yera weti midini nisa yinu ina agrabo ena odishe National Cathedral na adie wuma e yane se they have already spent 60.8 million even more than that on the national cathedral and ukupi wa site hono ma adia na e jama enko foka anwa se enise before se national cathedral no mube shasi etu foundation no na ye kot bangeru bi wa hono omu buno omu jiriguye demolition omu jiriguye na pasa even na enko fo enya padie e wo wo ho there's a a lot of you know trademarks and as a lot of government you know institutions were around but because of so called a year a year national cathedral omu bc omu ma ni person enko edi dnt they did all of these distractions before say a nay the woman a he the woman a chess a ote kwa na obofum a a mana kiki eno mwetu Amana keke eno mwetu. Oko hao kwa shaha. Chese amana keke. And even it is. It is. We are risking our life. Our life. Those living around. Omo life. It is at stake. And it. Chese. I don't even know how to describe it. Iti. Iti mima. Sika minugu ukuruma. Mi wai. Ya wa nurses. About 20,000 nurses. Omo vye. Since 2020. They have not been posted. Nurses are travel traveling abroad. They are traveling abroad. What is it? Omo ko in and out. Nibi omo ko. And enko fo tu kwa ya chari yung kwe muse. The future of this country, no. It is in at stake. It chese yeni 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 future because a youth na omo ko no. And the youth is the future of this country. Ene oko aboso kanya eni ma bo din 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 cars per pass. And ene importes. Omu e inti mi e importo niye ma. Exportes. Ene omu inti mi exporti niye ma. Wati ya siye. Taxes. Ene e niye ma bibi. Ene e kosu ukuruma. Including sanitary tax or whatever. Ema e mfi chikuro yo muko yi. Omu e wa taxi biya. Omu diya tuso se o exporti. Anase se o importi. Se a sanitary pad ni fi. Abu china de ba. Omo di bibi ato so. Just a local maid yinon. Ena omo fwa yibi nito so. But. Foreign ones re di. Tax eda su gidi gidi pa. And I don't know the meaning of it. Ida di su stop. Sa wopi si yin jaya. You can tell. Abayin. Di enti ya ma kufado. Abayin. Tore biya yibi yon wenti ya se di se. You are the head of state. Wo ena okan e bom. So wopi si wopi nje yibi yon di ya. It is not. It is not say we impose tax on on the person and the money judge my dear no, because the more you you impose tax no, and the people so obey 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 add value to his to his price previous price no is you can already be can home because when you say do in comforto, and then say any day I'm at the bar, now the price will become one minute minute me profit, and the more you do that, the more also the 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 consumer. And I say, Nipana or no Obeton, so you are putting that person in a high standard of living. You get my point in a high standard of living, and the, all these things are there. We don't talk about it. Yanka, Yanka, Sam Fahom, you are Dr. Mahmoud Bomia, Nabu for the Omu Yeduma, I think, and nine months or so. Some of them, even majority of them, no Omusika, Enyambai. And they are still waiting for it. We don't know either after elections or during December's uh, elections in Ombitu or Mukadia. And not only that, nurses, nursing training allowances, Nina El Honum, in Yambai, and Kofo it is randomly shared. Omosha Wenima, and Union Penny Bina or Joe Crata, now Bobo Bobo, Nemo, or Tawana Bito. And majority Nana Munsa, Enyanka, Yura. Uh, yeah, the vice president he was asked when when he was in the chiman 
east na wo hudi oka e wi e do so ko baby o be verify e bi say say unyam verify so why are you making comments about it these are the things i was e can whatsapp but and then yen can whatsapp e no man we e bo e gbe ti so enti samuel okuje tabla kwa you one of the mps he is indeed working extra he's working na juma as mp no he has worked Exceedingly, what I say, we are working over it, and I say even we are far, 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 far ahead of his tax, and that is what we are expecting all the lawmakers, I mean the legislators, I mean the parliamentarians. San Eje so mo eding ombe ye, ye kotu aba mubi na wa kaji V8 Article 71 Huda, oji allowances as gracia na otitika sekisim na okoso traffic v8 aben na oye dide wo krom na oye tabi obi yare kwa na se onya kwan yepe 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 we ana se na okoso traffic you get my point na okoso traffic me why no the aduma we say ye di share nsa no as a member of parliament in onye onye enti it this is the high time e we say yitimi aprodo e ye yura Samuel Okuje Tabla kwa in fact why are there why are there pa because and they say make us we need case be gidi gidi pa di tie ye we and and i think say this man is doing well for his uh, you know his country mother motherland Ghana mm oye djuma de mai in fact oye djuma pa nti o wa bas body bi e nfa ma no kwa nyo no a en kasam bebre champo when him say mo position and you know find any ways and means na what me every year sika now they are caught for them say be ya at the end of the 16 years in the position now on betina no and some say case mpp for mo co position on betina position for 16 good years and hmm on betina position for 16 good years because hmm a lot of things are there and you may be and you may be be a hobby and you may see you may come as you and you may be be a hono because their behavior no? and how they have squandered the money how these people they have embezzled ghana our fund you know it is it is <laughs> unprecedented ah unprecedented ebi see that mm, unprecedented ebi see that it is a era the poker say no government and i say no president has done a lot for ghana one cut positive and negative for or can in a boom into no you hear the bad side that i could find why you be a magana papa 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 why you be a magana in terms of negative aspect i also don't know so i know oh my you know but this one from sorry now the idea you see into papa and the way you be a my tea let's appreciate in a book your kind you know in a you know in a negative way because positive day we all know is a good father he can never compare himself to the first president of this country that is in konoma if we try do that when we are Oh, I say we try on corner so. Yeah, yes, ah, because you can never compare yourself to Nkroma. No, Obi anyo, Obi anyo. I mean, for we see, anti okuya tabla kwa ena oti nkano. Nyango po inshira subscribe for latest update. Yebe sro bomo dan like you ma di na share na fufu ni bivye. Nyango po inshira media mega. Bye bye, Macau.